Good morning. Day 125. August 6th. Time to get going. 6.15, I'm on the trail. We've got a big day today. We, uh, we plan to do 20 miles and that 20 miles has over 4,200 feet in elevation gain. And I think close to like 5,000 or more than that in descent. We're going to be climbing up along this <clears throat> ridge, going over a pass and, uh, Possibly in some snow, even at, you know, 6,500 feet. So, it is 45 degrees out this morning. Have my gloves on, but other than that, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. So, I got to move to stay warm. And, uh, my ankle that I hurt yesterday is feeling a little bit better this morning, although I have taken Tylenol, so hopefully it gets me through the day and it gets better. Uh, my shoulder, where it's pretty sore from the strap, a little bit bruised, but it's, uh, it's healing. The, uh, the abrasion I had up there. I put a band-aid on it, a big band-aid. And uh, of course, I started getting a rash from the band-aid because the band-aid glue. Uh, my skin doesn't like band-aid glue. So I took that off, but it's getting better. I think you'd hear a bird saying good morning. There's a lake out there. Steam coming off it like the one that we were camped by. Other than that one bird, it's pretty quiet out. So I'm left to my thoughts. The uh, insulin that I got is working way better than the old insulin that I used up. I'm using less than half of the amount that I was using with that older insulin. So my anecdotal evidence is that, you know, insulin is, is fine carrying, you know, carrying it, especially if you carry it like down in your pack where it stays cooler all day long. I didn't, I carried it in my fanny pack, but, uh, you know, it's cool at night. It's cool in the mornings. It's just the heat of the day that maybe you need to protect it from. And, uh, I do think it was smart of me to have the Frio thing to keep the evaporative thing to keep the water, keep the insulin cool in the desert. But other than that, it's worked okay without stressing over keeping it cool. I never keep it cool at home. I keep it in the house usually or take it with me if I go out. Don't worry too much, but now I think I know that if I let it get warm too long, and I probably had those vials for more than a month, and uh, then it'll lose some effectiveness. Okay, I'm going to... 
put my phone away, put my hand back in my glove and do this thing. Here's my first view of the day. Just 15 minutes into the hike. It is a uh, It's just trees and mountains, but it's cool and uh I understand sometime today I get a great view of Mount Adams and some views of St. Helens and Rainier maybe. So we'll see you then or earlier. Yeah, that's a grouse. Oh, interesting. Cool. I learned something new. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Gotta love that view. Lake down there. Mount Rainier up there. Oh, I'd like to sing a little song I wrote. I'd like to sing it to you note by note to be happy. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'll be happy now. How can you not be happy? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And remember, you're good enough, you're smart enough. And doggone it, people like you. You are enough. Your contribution is enough. And you matter. There are no mosquitoes. There are no flies. Do not attempt to adjust your vertical. Do not attempt to adjust your horizontal. You must have just entered the twilight zone. Hiking towards uh, Sispas Pass, less than a mile and a half away. I think it's up there to my right, but I don't know for sure. Going that way. Came from that way. In life, make sure you stop and look back. If you don't, you're going to miss out on some things. It's always good to take a pause. Look back, reflect, consider, and lots of times it's just enjoying the view.
Going that way. Came from there. Oh, always good to look back. Look at that. Nice. It's a little bit hazy today. Came from that way. This is uh, goat rocks here. And uh, I don't see any goats. But uh, and then Sisyphus Pass is just right up there in about a half mile. So I'll show you when we get to the pass. I hear there's a little bit of snow we got to go over. But that is not bad. Not quite there yet, but getting close. I wish it wasn't so hazy. Looks clear on the other side. We'll see. Okay. This is it. Sispus Pass, elevation 6,473. This is the other side. This is looking to the north. There's a waterfall coming down over there. There, that was Sispus Pass. This is looking out to the west, and I'm pretty certain that the Hazy Mountain, you can see right there, looks like it might be Mount St. Helens, because uh, the top's kind of blown off, looks like to me, but uh, can't tell for sure. And my guess is that Rainier might be up there. I'm not sure. You can see the trail going down. If I can find it now, there it is. Going down there along the side of that mountain. That looks kind of sketch right there. We'll see when we get there. It's a little intimidating when you can see the water up there and it's just this sharp edge. Let's hope that it's ah, a flat area to pass this on.
looks like I can mostly keep my feet dry. Okay, so I've been calling that the wrong mountain. It's not Rainier yet. That's still Mount Adams. There it is. Mount St. Helens. Fading away. Fading away. There has been a little bit of snow crossings so far, but nothing scary or requiring micro spikes, so that's good. Look at those wildflowers. Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams. Okay, got a video of this. Finally, there's Mount Rainier right there. Then, as we come further south, There is St. Helens. Right there. Can't hardly see it because it's all faded out. There we go. St. Helens. Not as spectacular from here. And then Mount Adams. guy saying that lake there is a goat lake and those falls are goat creek and that he has never seen it snowed in that late this late in the year got a bit of a snow traverse here at least it's not very steep People are climbing that right now. People are trying to summit that. So we are we are doing the alternate route. Looks like it has some snow. Just came up from that saddle down there. Catching my breath. Even though there's sights that take your breath away.
you all know the saying, life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. Uh, Mount Adams. St. Helens is out there. Right there. And Rainier. It came from there. Going up there. See those guys down there on that snow? That was me a while ago. Cross that snow, up that ridge, across that other snow, and on up here. Mount Adams. St. Helens and Mount Rainier. This is uh, the knife's edge. We go down along this ridge. Way down there you can see the trail going on that ridge. Right up there. Don't want to go either way on this. Okay, I think I'll put the camera away and pay attention to my balance. Just came down there along that edge. Going down here to reconnect to the Pacific Crest Trail, which then is that trail you see down there following along the ridge. All the way along that ridge on up. Whew. I'm glad I'm not tired and it's the uh, first of the day. Huh. Came down that ridge. Continuing down.
off to the left. came up here and we're going around the edge of that that edge and looks like we're going down 1.6 miles 1.6 yeah. gonna go all the way along this ridge all the way up there and then even more down there. Just came down along the side of that mountain, which was kind of sketch. Then up this ridge, up to here. And now we go down this ridge along the side of that mountain. Eventually we get down there and go up there. So we came up there, that saddle. Then we climbed up the edge there and around behind to the top of that peak there. And that's where we started coming this way. And we came down along the side of that. Up and down, up and down, up and around, up and down, up and around, up and down. Until you get right here. Okay, we're calling it quits. We did 15.6 miles but it wore us out. We did uh, 40, 42, let me check, 42.75, that's 4,275 feet in ascension. And then we did 32.32 down. So we're gonna, we're gonna pack it in. Call it a, call it a day. Terry's got her tent up and Hoover's trying to determine the best spot for his. Then I'm all set up and ready to jump in. So, tomorrow morning the sun should be coming up over there, shining on me. That would be nice. Call it, call it at night. Good night.